We begin with the death of a Walmart employee in Halifax. Police confirming the 19 year old died inside a walk in oven at the store. We have some new details about the death of a teenager Walmart employee last weekend in Halifax. A sick organization in the Maritimes has identified the victim as 19 year old Gersimran Kaur. They told the Canadian press it was her mother who discovered the teen's body inside a large walk-in oven at the store's bakery. Trapped inside with extreme heat while struggling to stay calm, a young woman's regular day at work turned into a horrific nightmare when she found herself locked inside an oven with no way out. What is the reality behind her fate? How did she find herself stuck there? This video will reveal all the shocking details regarding the case that you have been looking for. 19-year-old Gursim Rankawa moved to Nova Scotia, Canada three years ago with her mother from India, leaving behind her brother and father. Kaua arrived at this place with big dreams, which also involved transforming her life for good. Well, all I know is that uh, they were employees of the uh, Walmart uh, in Halifax. Uh, both the mother and the daughter were working down there. To achieve her dreams, she and her mother began working at Halifax Walmart just a year after moving to Canada. However, she didn't realize that her workplace would turn her life upside down without her knowing. On the evening of October 19th, 2024, Kao's life fell into a worse state. It had been an hour since she was last seen. Her mother was looking around for her in the Walmart, calling on her cell phone, but it was all in vain. Kao's phone was unreachable. The situation made the mother more worried than ever for her since it was the first time she had done something like this. The Post says her mother was also employed there and became concerned when she couldn't find her daughter. In an effort to locate her, she also contacted the on-site administration and asked them to find Kao. The helpless mother was unaware of the tragic moment that had been awaiting her. A few hours later, Kaur's mother went to Walmart Bakery's walk-in oven for something, only to discover her daughter's charred remains inside the oven. It's the mother, actually, who is really shocked, you know, uh, when she found out yeah. uh, that her daughter had, uh, you know, suffered and all that. She had witnessed the worst moment of her life. Seeing her daughter reduced to ashes pushed her into a deep shock and trauma. The mother is receiving psychological counselling to process her shock and return to her normal self. However, she demands answers from Walmart management and seeks justice for her daughter. The Maritime Sikh Society has set up a GoFundMe page to collect donations for her family. The page's description says she was a young, beautiful girl who came to Canada with big dreams. As of now, the page has successfully raised 194,949 Canadian dollars and currently isn't letting any more donations in. This donation aims to bring Kaur's father and brother from the Punjab region of India for a funeral and help with other causes. Donations are pouring in for the family of the young woman who died in a Halifax Walmart store last weekend. The Maritime Six Society, which has launched the GoFundMe, identifies the victim as 19-year-old Grossimran Kaur, who, quote, came to Canada with big dreams. The page says, imagine the horror that her mother experienced when she opened the oven when someone pointed it out to her. This family's sufferings are unimaginable and indescribable. They need your support to get through this horrific time. Balbir Singh, the secretary of the society, said in an interview that Kaur's mother is still in counselling and wants to know how her daughter died in an oven without anyone knowing about her. He told everyone, she is not in a state where she wants all of this to be hushed up. She is telling everyone that she wants justice for her daughter. Well, she's in a deep shock, you know, it's uh, the whole thing has uh, left a very uh, solid, uh, you know, indelible mark on her, you know, and she's definitely in a, in a shock, you know, and she doesn't want to, uh, you know, communicate with people or anything like that. A Walmart spokesperson said, We are heartbroken and our deepest thoughts are with our associate and their family. Our focus remains on taking care of our associates and making sure they have the support they need. We're also supporting our associates during this incredibly difficult time and have provided access to 24-7 virtual care and will provide on-site support, including grief counselling. The spokesperson further said they don't have any other statement on the incident since the investigation on the matter is already underway. Halifax Regional Police are trying to figure out the actual cause and manner of the death and said the investigation is complex and might be lengthy. 
saying the oven is big enough for anyone to step inside. A spokesperson from the Nova Scotia Medical Examiner Service wrote an email to Newsweek saying, the Medical Examiner Office is working closely with Halifax Regional Police to determine the cause and manner of the sudden death at the 6990 Mumford Road Walmart. The investigation is in the early stages and no further details are available at this time. The radio conversation that occurred between the emergency personnel and firefighters on the night of the incident was shared. The dispatcher was heard saying, a female is locked in an oven in the bakery, and that the oven was on and it's unsure if staff are able to turn it off. The regional police unit arrived at Walmart at around 9.30 p.m. after the report of the incident. On October 19th at approximately 9.30 p.m., uh, we received a, a call to the Walmart at 6990 Mumford Road in Halifax. Uh, for a report of a sudden death. Kao's body had been removed from the oven when the first responders reached the site of the incident. Simadeep Hundal, the former president of the Sikh society, said, It's horrifying. I really, really cannot describe in words what she endured at the time. Satnam Singh Randhawa, chair of the society, spoke with CBS News, saying, It's pretty distressing, you know. Young people come here with all kinds of hopes and dreams, and they're working hard. And then this is what happens. I was shocked too. I was uh, I was concerned of how this, this uh, could this happen and how did it happen and so on and so forth, you know. So lots of questions were coming into my mind to to asking uh, what, what have exactly is happening here, you know, what exactly was passed there, you know. So it's 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 shocking. This horrific incident has raised many questions regarding worker safety. Craig Walsh, the president of the Eastern Provinces Council of the United Foods and Commercial Workers Union, said Halifax Walmart's employees are united to improve this workplace. He further said that if the death doesn't come under homicide, then there should be a proper evaluation of the store by the Labour Department to figure out how safe it is for workers. There's obviously a lot we don't know, but there's usually a lot of safety protocols in place for equipment like this. But the safety protocols only work if they're checked on later and verified that they're still operating. The Labour Department spokeswoman, Sarah McNeil, stated that the department is already investigating the death. She also said, All devices used in workplaces must be operated in accordance with manufacturers' specifications. She revealed in an email that the Labour investigators have done nine inspections at this Walmart. However, no legal actions were taken after the inspections or penalties were issued. The Walmart located at 6990 Mumford Road is closed temporarily for investigation purposes. That being the case, the Walmart staff assigned to duties this week will still get paid despite the shutdown of the store. People have attached flower bouquets and condolence notes to a pole in the parking lot to share the pain of the grieving family. The female was uh, located in a, the walk-in oven in the bakery within the store. She was inside the oven? Yes, in the oven inside the store. Do we know whether it was on when she was inside? Uh, that's part of our investigation, and which is ongoing at this time. Her name has not been released publicly. Uh, there are flowers outside of the store, notes being left uh, in condolence and in, in memory of her. Um, as of Tuesday, the store remained temporarily closed, and we know from the Department of Labor in Nova, in Nova Scotia uh, that a stop work order was issued for the bakery in the store, and specifically one piece of equipment. That's it for today's video. Was it accidental or a planned murder? The answers will only come out after a thorough police investigation. What do you think about this incident? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated. As always, stay safe out there.